my dears again. Today in this new episode, as usual, we will highlight one of the best architects in the world, the Swiss Mario Botta, and in this video you will see an overview of his life and childhood, the best buildings he built, the difficulties he faced when he was young, his educational stages, and he developed it to give the fruits of what he wasted, thus making his mark in the world of architecture. Do not go far, and for those interested, watch the video until the end to benefit. Before we begin, I would like to remind you to activate the subscribe button to receive all new updates and press the like button to support us in publishing more videos. A Biography of the Childhood of Swiss Architect Mario Botta Mario Botta was born in 1943 in the town of Mendrisio, where he grew up in a humble peasant family, as he put it. He was the youngest of three children, as he was nine years younger than his brother, while his sister was eight years older than him. He was naturally spoiled, as the youngest son of the family. His parents divorced when he was seven years old. The father left home and never saw him again in his life except once, and that was in 1968. Despite his father's absence, Botha describes his childhood as happy, as the presence of his grandmother and aunts was enough to compensate for the father's absence. They helped Mother Maria, who sometimes worked at home as a seamstress. Bada says in his book, My mother was a thin woman, and I always felt that she was very similar to the characters of Giacometti, the well-known Swiss sculptor. Botha grew up in the south of the canton of Ticino, in the area adjacent to the Swiss-Italian border, where in the years following World War II he had close and friendly relations with the inhabitants of the southern neighbor. Almost all the families had friends or relatives living near the border, Bada says. Even my mother had relatives in both Bizarone and UG8. He added, I lived my childhood between 1943 and 1950, a period characterized by a strong fondness for Italy. Study in Venice Before he became an architect, Botha graduated from school in a state of indifference. I was an average student, with grades between 4 and 5, one of my teachers told me a few years ago. For example, I was good at mathematics, because mathematics does not require memorization, only understanding. I was also good at drawing, because I was fond of it. This passion led him in 1959, at the age of 16, to design the first house in the Superiori Morbio area. At the end of compulsory education, Botha decided to complete vocational training in drawing. I was lucky, Botta says, because I started my professional training with the architect Tita Carloni in Lugano, where I was able to see architecture firsthand, but I also realized the limits of my capabilities, so, in the end, I joined the Art Institute of Milan. After studying the second and third years, starting from home as a freelance student, he was able to complete the four years of study at the School of Arts, within three years, and in 1964, he obtained a high school graduation certificate, baccalaureate. In 1970 he began his professional activity in Lugo, where he opened his own office. There is excellence in creating buildings that combine heavy walls such as concrete and brick, with light steel and glass structures. In her beginnings in Ticino, she was responsible for the design of single-family homes, schools, banks, administrative buildings, libraries, museums and places of worship. At the same time, Mario Botta has been teaching, teaching classes, seminars and courses at numerous architecture schools throughout Europe, Asia, the United States and Latin America. With worldwide recognition, Mario Botta has presented numerous exhibitions and received honorary titles in Argentina, Greece, Romania, Bulgaria, Brazil and Switzerland. Founder and influencer of the Mendrisio Academy of Architecture, they still teach today. In Botha's works, there is a strong respect for the topographical and local conditions of the sites of his buildings, as well as craftsmanship and geometric arrangement which is an attempt by him to reconcile traditional architectural symbolism with the aesthetic rules of the modern movement. Most of Bada's buildings are located in Switzerland, but they receive international attention, 
especially with his winning many international competitions, perhaps the most important of which is his winning the design of the Museum of Modern Art Building in San Francisco, America, in 1984. Most notable design by architect Mario Bada. Munio. Mario Bada's Mountain Church. When we look at this building from the outside, we find that it has an oval shape and is distinguished by its sloping roof and black and white lines. From the inside, it has a design similar to that of a chessboard in terms of the use of the same colors. This is the church designed by the famous architect Mario Bada and known as the Church of San Giovanni in Cosio. Every Cathedral Every Cathedral It is a Roman Catholic church located in the new city of Evry, Essen, France. The cathedral was designed by Swiss architect Mario Bada. It was opened in 1995 and was consecrated and dedicated to St. Corbinian in 1996. It is the only cathedral begun and completed in France in the 20th century. Museum Tingley The Museum Tingley is an art museum in Basel, Switzerland that contains a permanent exhibition of the works of Swiss painter and sculptor Jean Tingley. Located in the Solitude Park by the Rhine, the museum was designed by the Tissanese architect Mario Bata and opened on 3 October 1996. San Francisco Museum of Modern Art, SFMOMA It is a modern art museum located in San Francisco, California. A non-profit organization, SFMOMA holds an internationally recognized collection of modern and contemporary art and was the first museum on the West Coast dedicated solely to 20th century art. The museum's current collection includes more than 33,000 pieces of works of painting, sculpture, photography, architecture, design, and media arts. They are displayed in square feet of gallery space, making the museum one of the largest in the United States overall, and one of the largest in the world for modern and contemporary art. Collection of modern and contemporary art includes more than 27,000 works in photography, drawing, sculpture, architecture, design, and media arts. The new museum, planned in collaboration with architects Helmuth, Obata, and Kaysebaum, was built on a 59,000 square feet, 5,500 square meters, parking lot on 3rd Street between Mission and Howard Streets. The South Market site, an area near the Moscone Convention Center consisting primarily of parking lots, was targeted through an agreement between the museum, the Redevelopment Agency and the Olympia and York Development Corporation. The land was provided by the agency and developer, but the rest of the museum was privately funded. Construction of the new museum began in early 1992, with an opening in 1995, the institution's 60th anniversary. Modern and Contemporary of Trento and Rovereto It is a museum center in the Italian province of Trento. The main site is in Rovereto and contains mostly modern and contemporary works of art, including famous works by Giorgio Morandi, Giorgio de Chirico, Felice Casarotti, Carlo Cara and Fortunato de Perro. Fortunato de Perro's house in Rovereto, known as Casa d'Arte Futurista de Perro, is part of the museum. The new building was designed by Tissini's architect Mario Bada, who worked on its development with Rovereto structural engineer Giulio Androli. A 29,000 square meter site was available, but between the site and the road, via Bettini, two large 18th century houses, in costume, had to be allocated. Fortunately, there is a gap between the two that provides enough space for a doorway. Botha's solution to the site's challenges draws inspiration from classical forms, particularly the Pantheon model, but also incorporates artistically adventurous solutions. Evoking the mantra, a space for art, not a space despite art, the design includes a building without a facade incorporating three floors of museum space arranged around a large round, agora. Covered by a glass dome, dome with a diameter of 40 meters. The dome structure makes extensive use of steel and plexiglass and incorporates a 
missing slide, thanks to complex engineering solutions. In the central area under the dome there is a fountain. The wall facades make use of yellow stone from Vicenza which was favored by Andrea Palladio, although the innovative way in which the facing panels were installed allowed each to be replaced individually without major structural disruption. In a way that owed little to the 16th century architectural maestro. Agora, can accommodate up to 1,200 visitors. Here we may have answered the previous questions we will conclude by concluding that there are many engineers who emerged in ancient times and in our current era, they formed an architectural revolution, and among them was the architect Buada, who gave his Swiss country and the world a lot of creativity and art. Before leaving, do not forget to activate the notification bell and like the video to receive all our news.